Hello everyone, this is Thurman. You can, you can see I just got a delivery of new hive components. I'm going to be building these. This is going to give me another uh, 20 deep boxes uh, with frames. Um, I've decided this time that I'm going to, instead of using plastic uh, uh, inserts for my frames, I'm going to be using the wax that they've got, medium wax and uh, we're gonna try that um, I went with uh, the same type of frame that I had before which was the one with the groove so I'm just gonna stick it in the groove melt a little wax beside it to help hold it in instead of using the other type where you put the little cleat up against it and put the nail seems like a little too much work for me so um, this is gonna give me another 20 deep boxes and uh, Let's see here. And I got a bunch of, um, let's see, I got the frame components for uh, for deeps, and I got some frame components down there for, for mediums, because I make a bunch of medium boxes on my own. And I got some tops, so I got some medium stuff right there. Not too much, I'm going to be building those on my own, that's easy enough. Uh... They lowered, uh, Man Lake lowered their price enough where it was just a little bit more expensive to buy the stuff completed than it was for me to go buy the lumber at one of these big box lumber stores and do all the work myself. So I will get all this stuff taken off and when I start construction I'll, I'll bring it on back and uh, continue this video Until then, bring. so with my order of the new deeps I also ordered 25 pounds of medium brewed wax frame inserts and what I've decided to do is to take these inserts there's uh, 25 pounds gets you about 175 of them but what I'm doing is I'm cutting two inch strips so that means I can get four out of this three cuts so for every five, I can handle 20 frames. There's 10 frames right there in front of you. And as you can see, all I did was I put it down inside the groove because those are the types of frames that I have. I slipped it right down inside of the groove and then I took some wax that was melted and I just brushed it right into the corner. Let me back up a little bit. So I just brushed it right up into the corner and that held everything straight so now all the bees have to do is just come straight in and they will continue to pull this down making their own wax so later on I can cut this out now at first I thought this was going to be a little bit more expensive uh, at least it seemed expensive to me as compared to the to the plastic frames but with 175 you multiply that times four and that's how many frames I can get and so it turns out to actually be cheaper um, in the long run so what I've done is I've just taken five frames of wax and I make the cut you know and I separate them and then I just slip it right up inside of the groove and then I paint the I paint some wax onto it and uh, then I have my frames so I'm going to be using these in my bait boxes and in some of my hives I actually got this idea off of somebody else that was on YouTube. I wish I could remember where I saw it so I can give the man credit, but I don't. Um, so I will keep you guys updated on how it works for me, and then we'll we'll go on from there. Um, yeah, so talk to you soon. So we've got some free time right now, and what I'm doing is I am setting the frames up with a piece of the foundations the um, the medium wax foundation that I've cut into two inch strips and we are gluing them right into the the groove that I have here on the top of the frame now these are for my supers as you can see here these are for my supers um, I'm doing this so that I can get cut comb full of honey try to sell it 
try to have it. I like chewing on the stuff myself. So let's get into this and um, I'll show you how I do this. So all I'm doing is I am taking a piece of the cut foundation and I'm sliding it up into my groove here. Fairly simple stuff. And I am grabbing it on the bottom. And I've already melted some wax here, as you can see. This is some wax that I have pulled from some of my combs. And uh, But if you're new and you're going to do this and you buy the foundation, you can always just melt some of the foundation itself and use it. Or you can buy blocks of it, like this, you know, from another beekeeper. Not too expensive. Goes a long way. Um, some of what I've got here is a, a block that I have, but a lot of it is burr comb um, that I've used. So all I'm doing is I'm just holding it and I'm melting a brush, uh, uh, putting my brush in the melted wax and I'm just running it along the side on both sides. And I hit three points. So the two sides in the middle. I make sure that I've got enough in there so that it takes hold of the wood and the foundation. Give it a little flip around. Put some more on that side. Some on this side. And then I just set it over to the side, and then I start my next one. So as you can see, it's just some melted wax, and I've got it set on the lowest setting on my oven, my stove top. And uh, it does make a mess. Uh, you tend to drip wax, but I've had one of those um, new black top stoves, so it makes it pretty easy to clean up. All i got to do is just scrape it off. So, melted wax, foundation in the frames. You can see the three points where it's melted. It holds it pretty nice. And you set it over to the side, and then once it's done, take it, slide it right up inside of your box. Take your box, your super, and go put it on top of your hives that need it and uh, you're ready to go. Now the bees will draw this down just like they do regular foundation um, except that this allows them to make the, the holes the size that they want it to be. Um, it might be a little smaller but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, I, I did some of these in my deep boxes also and I've got one hive that has it in there and I'm experimenting with it and I'm letting them run the entire thing of nothing but um, pulled foundation their own stuff so it's more natural um, I want to check them and see whether those bees are actually coming out smaller than the plastic foundation I keep hearing that that's what happens when they build their own um, in uh, a video that follows this one you see where I extract some bees from uh, a tree that was felled by a logging company and I found those bees to be the same size and they drew their own uh, comb so we'll see I'm gonna give this a try I like it I like how it works I like that for the cost of the foundation it seems cheaper to me right now um, because I can take uh, 25 pounds and I can cut it up and I can literally make 700 of these things if I keep it at 2 inch of course with these frames being only 6 and what 5 eighths I think I don't even need to make it 2 inches I can probably make it just an inch and get even more out of it as long as I'm running it for supers but this is what I'm doing today I've got a bunch of these that I'm gonna make up um, I've got more frames that I'm going to put together. I put these together myself, and uh, we're just going to keep on rolling. So, this is Thurman from Burnley Farm Apery in his kitchen. Y'all take care.